Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Blue Complex. We're going to start episode two here. I do apologize uh, for the delay between episodes here, but uh, as you can probably hear, a little bit under the weather. People in my house have been sick. I finally got it. Whatever hell spawned infection is in my upper respiratory tract. Well, I'm not going to let that stop us. So, let's get back to it. For episode two, we did this, and it was free me, which is the code we got at the end of episode one. New game. Welcome. You are about to enter a confidential zone. You must identify yourself before you can be allowed to continue. When you are ready to identify, use SSH Will Turk. Hey. Use up and down to navigate through the command history, left, right, home, and end to navigate through the current line. You can use tab to autocomplete commands and file names. Okay. Must be administrator. Peter O'Brien. Hello, I'm Leah. Hello, Leah. I'm glad you came back to meet me again. If you are here, it means you have chosen to help me. By accessing the fifth level of the complex, we will be able to consult research data about doors created by Peter O'Brien. We need to modify his doors behavior to fulfill our objective. It will not be an easy task. Connect to the mainframe to continue using SSH mainframe. Okay. Before we do that, let's go up a little bit. What did I... Um, oh, there was some mail there I didn't open, but that's... Let's see how far we get here. I will. I've been blocked in front of the security airlock this morning since my transfer. I haven't gotten used to all the new technology. In the lower sectors, we don't even know about them. I wonder, can we interact with every screen just by touching them? I will. Let me introduce myself. My name is Kyle, and as you probably know, I just joined the complex as a high-level Sector 5 officer. I was just in my new office when I noticed that a lot of stuff was still in here. When I asked Ava what to do with it, she told me that you could take care of it. That's why I'm writing you. Could you please let me know if you have any room available to store all that stuff we don't need anymore? I will. I'm ready to inform you that we welcome a new recruit to Sector 5. I'm going to turn this down a little bit for both of us. Okay. <clears throat> Kyle Tops, I count on you to provide him a password so that he can identify and join the team quickly. I will. There's a new recruit in Sector 5. It's a woman this time. Her name is Eliza Jones. Can you provide her with a password as usual? Okay. Well, that's all we've got here. Um, maybe I need to go back in order to read those. Okay. Um, oh, okay, we got a camera. Um, 5823B blank blank. Okay, um, we don't have a mode this time, but we do have a light. <clears throat> uh, light black. Yeah. All right, keypad has fingerprints. Uh, the one, two, three, four, five, seven, and... A, B. Um, so it was one, two, three, five, eight, A and B. Five and eight are accounted for, two and three, so it must be either A1 or 1A. Um, and I can't interact with this at all. Okay. <coughs> um, okay. Uh, SSH mainframe. That's probably not password to the mainframe. Though. I 
I should write down that code, however. So I don't forget it. Five, eight, two, three, B, blank, blank. It's either one, A, or A, one. Okay. Um, and I can't go back, huh? I can't remember. Um, all right, I can't remember. Oh, wait, it was, uh, what was the name of the computer? Was it Jack Parrot? There we go. Um, let's read these. Tip 5 team, I remind you that all the work and research on this floor is one of the teleport doors developed on the fourth floor. Remember that your presence here is proof of our confidence and therefore provides access to uncomfortable data. I ask each of you to stay focused on this common project and leave your personal projects. It's forbidden to introduce research data on a subject or, of course, to extract research data on teleport doors off this floor. We are working to change the future. Remember this. Jack, my man. What's new? It's been a long time since I haven't seen you in the area lately. I guess you have a lot of work. Like all of us, we should get a cup of, you, a cup of coffee sometime. I have many things to tell you. Did I tell you that my brother worked on a successful film? I must tell you all about it. I'm so proud. And what was the last one? I jacked for some time. We've had Leah in charge to ensure the security in the mood complex. She's very aware of the defects and more effective to solve them, bringing many ideas. So I'm not too worried. She also told me to add new authentication protocols with Leah on the controls. We will be safe and can focus more on our more work on our doors. I'll let you know. Okay, so. No. Damn it, come on. I didn't need a password that time. All right. Um. Yeah. So the one and the A aren't accounted for. Those are the only ones that we don't see in the password. And none of the characters were reused, so there's no chance of that. Okay. Um. Right. I'm not sure. I, I kind of vaguely remember there being password for the mainframe that we saw in documentation. in episode one but I don't have access to that documentation now and so much time has passed since then that I don't remember what that was um um was it it was something short was it just admin no, it wasn't admin, but it was something short like that. But I also don't know for sure um, if this is the same password. Um, might need to use a hint, though, because I'm also not... Well, before I go doing that, let's, let's reread these. Um, can we interact with every screen just by touching them? So, can we interact with them? No, doesn't seem like we can. I can just move this around. Can't move the terminal, though. So... Yeah, we can't just interact by touching them with the mouse here anyway, so. 
Um, and do I have more than one camera? Can I switch camera? Um, no, that's just... Alright, so there's not more than one camera that we can switch to. Um, can I... Found. Do I have the name right? Yeah, K tops. No, and I don't. I don't have the diagram um, either. So, um, all right. I'm gonna. I, I don't see why the keypad to the door would be the same code as the mainframe. But at this point, I don't have any other information that I can, like, think of. Unless it's something, again, from episode one that I should be remembering. And if it is, then I don't. Um, and I don't want to look it up. So let me try. See if it's the same code, I guess. Um and then either 1A or A1. Let's try 1A. B, 1A. No, let's try 5823 A1. Oh, B, A1. Congratulations. Oh. We successfully managed to enter level 5. This level is divided into four sectors. You'll find all research data concerning Peter's work here. Unfortunately, O'Brien ciphered and hid a formula <gasps> that you need. Throughout the different sectors, you'll need to find some tools to be able to decipher this formula. Decipher archives from each sector's head to gather the necessary commands to finish that formula. Okay. So there's four sectors. Did you find all the research data? Okay, unfortunately. Okay. So we need to go on a snipe hunt here and um, decipher some stuff. All right, gotcha. Uh, Ebola. I've installed a mail server in case you can't access your mailbox normally. We can access it at this address, mailermookcomplex.com. Of course, it's meant to be used for internal use only. Every mail that didn't come from Moot Complex servers will be considered a spam and will be suppressed by the server security. Eric Boland, Security Manager, Level 5. Okay, so then I see Life Crypt right there, but it should be unreadable. And it says it is. And this is a, an archive. Um, so, yep, can't do that. And then we have a manual. We don't have a PDF reader. Okay. Um... map all right right now we're on mainframe which is right there in the center got kyle tops evan nice jack parrot is where we were before will turk is where we were before uh, after that before we got to mainframe we got several other lock workstations we've got fu hong and glenn reese um so it looks like uh, let's try kyle Your computer is secured by Ori Maze 1.4. Use the bot command to unlock it. Okay, then bot sub command. Use bot help. Okay, bot help. No, that's not what I wanted to say, but that is what I said. No, that's also not what I wanted to say, but that is what I said. Here we go. Uh, bot map display the bot puzzle map. Bot sequences display the content of sequence main. Bot clear. Display bot subcommands, bot play, bot push, push a new command with bot sequence. He says bot push, okay. Let's try bot map and at least see what we're dealing with. Okay, there's the bot. Bot move is forward two steps, turn clockwise. Okay, so then uh, bot push, and we're going to want to turn counterclockwise. And now we can go bot push move. OK, 
Okay. Now we can go about turn clockwise. And then we can do this again. Alright, we can have him turn clockwise again. And we can have him move again. Now we can have him turn counterclockwise. <clears throat> this is a kind of a cool little puzzle. Um, although I am doing it and I, I just I was just about to complain a little bit and say, you know, this is a cool little puzzle, but it's kind of tedious. But then it just occurred to me that I am doing it in the most um, painful way possible because I could just put all these commands in here. Like I could just go bot, uh, push, and then this one would be counterclockwise. And then I could also just stack them on top of each other. So I could go bot, push, move, bot, push, move, bot, push, counterclockwise, bot, push, move, bot, push, move, bot, push clockwise and then move and then clockwise again and then move again and then move again and then we can play it and that should oh, bot play. there we go and, I, the, and then I don't have to do it one command at a time um, I can just send them there alright now we're unlocked um so, I guess as far as that puzzle goes, um, I mean, that obviously was the first time we did it, so it probably is going to be the easiest type that we're going to face, but uh, it does remind me of when I was in junior high school and we were learning the basic programming language and we used to have to do, like, maze navigation bots and stuff like that. Um, except the exercise in those cases was to illustrate how you can have effective but extremely inefficient programs because computers can do multiple mindless calculations much faster than people. So what we actually did is we would program a bot like that to go through a maze using the most efficient path possible, which required, of course, a human essentially to solve the maze and then teach or write a program to solve it the way that we did, which is exactly what I just did. But the other component of the assignment was to illustrate that you can also just have a bot basically wandering around the maze until it happens upon uh, the solution, right? Because the bot doesn't care how long it takes because it's a computer. It will do those calculations in milliseconds and it will just find the answers. This was when I was in junior high. So this is way before machine learning and stuff would have basically used the same sort of principle uh, to eventually teach a program how to solve mazes. But this was, of course, long enough. <clears throat> Blove. Kyle, so you're the new guy here in the complex. Welcome. If you need anything, please don't hesitate to let me know. I hope we will be able to come up with some great ideas together. Okay, Bobby Love 3. Uh, <coughs> hurry. Let me introduce myself. I'm Yasin Hurry, and I work in the security department here in Sector 5. I have to let you know that newcomers will be subject to various aptitude tests during the first months in order to challenge and maintain your thinking skills, and I'm in charge of that. So for some time, and by some time, I mean until I decide you're done, you will have to solve some puzzles on your computer to be able to access your work. Because of that, you'll keep your brain functioning at maximum of its capabilities while you're working. Wow, Yasin, you sound like a fucking terrible person. What the fuck is this pretentious nonsense? Who the fuck are you? Anyway, um, as you see, it's also entertaining. Oh, yeah, so much fun. So, uh, to wish you welcome, I installed the first part of the here. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, thanks. Um, you note know, to self, if you see seen somehow still alive, uh, make sure that they don't survive this. I am uh, glad to know that you joined us, so welcome to the move about all the stuff in your lab. You can use the storage room next to the elevator. It's a secure room. We use to store unused materials. You can access it with your badge. Also, if you have a lot of personal things you'd like to store, feel free to use it. A lot of people are using it to keep their stuff safe. Um, there is a security camera in the room, so don't worry, nothing will happen to your belongings. Let me know if you need anything else. Okay. And then we have cat database.txt. Computer name is Fred Morgan. Fred Morgan 15D O. Oh. Alright. 
Uh, we got anything else here? Oops. Uh, bot. Oh, that's map. Okay, we are uh, Kyle Tops now, but we can now go to Fred Morgan. I'm sorry. I can't, I'm having an even harder time typing today than I usually do on a Kona. Feeling a little woozy. <clears throat> so my thinking is also not... I heard it ought to be. <laughs> um, so yeah, if it takes me a while to solve these puzzles, cut me some slack here. Hello, Fred. I'm Leah. You probably heard me about me before. I help managers keep this complex safe, and I noticed your poor personal password. Your wife was charming, but your constant need talking about her makes your password known to everybody and is therefore unsafe. I don't leave your home's front door open, so I expect you to do the same with mine. This message will persist until you change your password. Change it, okay? So whatever his wife's name is or something like that is what I'm looking for here. Um, I can't pick. Um, forever my honey, honey bear, I think. You will find lots of information in the complex's archives, although most of it is unimportant. Don't waste your time on those. Okay, Leah. All right, I already don't like the way that this relationship is developing. Just let me look at... It seems that I didn't make it clear that the situation is urgent. Stay focused, please. Am I dealing with another rogue AI here that, uh... Preventing me from doing what I want to do? What happens if I do it again? It seems that I didn't make it clear that... It seems... Now tell me what to do, robot. I am your god. It seems that I didn't make it clear that the situation is urgent. Stay focused, please. See many problems with the recent optimized and compressed mail server add-on. There's problems with all of the pictures. I'll compress the server and I attach simple pictures. You use your problem also luminosity. Okay. Um, H. Miller, the first one, please. Um... I would like to ask you, forget it, Leah, she has some harsh words for you, and I understand that you have been hurt knowing your situation, but I understand that her devotion is only because of her desire to ensure that we remain secure, blah, blah, blah. I'll talk to her and assure this will happen again. I know your wife died recently, therefore I understand the choice of your password. Well, that, I'm sorry that happened to you, dude, but I mean, I've been in that situation before. It's not really a reason to not use basic strong security measures. You can't just say, well, she died, so I get to have a weak password. That doesn't fucking fly. The whole team is worried about you. You're no, uh, you are no longer focused on what you do that affects your work as much as your colleagues. I understand your pain and I'll do anything to help. For the sake of the company, all I can do is ask you to take some time off. We all think it's better if you take some time to deal with this awful time you're going through. Please understand this is not punishment. Okay. Um, so what else do we have here, though? Unlock. Try and unlock the computer. Okay. Uh, map. Hint. Okay, so then if I go unlock. Uh, password is Honey Bear. No, that's Hanny Bear. A honey bear. No? Okay, is it honey bean? I could not... Oh, come on. It's definitely honey. It looks like... B-E-A... It looks like honey bear. Is it honey boo boo? Um. Or maybe the honey bear is her nickname for him. Maybe. So I. I mean, if I could fucking. Read this, maybe. It seems that I didn't make it clear that the situation is urgent. Stay focused, please. <clears throat> All right. Can't read that report. It might have her name in it. Um, and the emails didn't message. Wait, or did they? Did I miss? Did I miss her name in the email message? Um, a 
H5. All right, I don't, I don't know. I can't read the report. Um, and I think Honey Bear might be her name for him. So let's try a different computer. We were on Jack. We were on Will. We were on Kyle. So Evan Nice, Glenn Reeson, and Fu Hong. I guess let's go to Evan Nice. Do I need password for this? That stupid girl put a password on her computer for being able to access other computers. Despite my request, she didn't delete it, therefore preventing her colleagues from using her computer. Okay. They asked me to change my authentication system because I think it's not safe enough. I don't quite agree with that. I've used my SSH and system to have computers in the area and I never had issues. Cypher my password is the only method I trust. It's old, but I totally trust that man. Anyway, I don't have time for that. It's done as done. Uh, as Caesar would say, Alea Jacta Est. Okay, so. A Caesar cipher. When when she initially said it's the only method I trust, it's old, but I trust that man. I thought we were going to be looking at a Vignette cipher, but it says Caesar there, so that's probably it. K okay, Tops. Spoke about you with Leah while we worked on some projects. Um, she talks to, sorry, the words are spinning a little bit. I'm a little bit uh, woozy here. She talked to me about your work. I think she could be a great help to you. She's a very effective helping hand in the process of my research. I advise you to work with her. Uh, I promise you'll be okay. <laughs> One month ago, I told you I was working with Leah on my research. Today, we have made great progress. It's largely thanks to her research significantly advances in our productivity. Reads miles 20%. It's incredible. Blah, 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 blah. I'd like to show you some progress for research. Blah, 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 blah. <clears throat> We have some issues with an agent from Area 2. He seems to have some conflicts with management about a coffee machine, and he even threatened to file a complaint with the NATO Council. The coffee machine is not restored to the shortest possible time. It's pretty amazing that such a thing would take such momentum and be inclined to resolve the issue quickly, blah, 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 blah. Uh, but I have a feeling that this will be eventually happen because the agent is free, able to mobilize the entire sector. Apparently, we can be in and make past the no coffee and work in more a real revolution. I give you the um, mail of this agent. His name is Tim Gurton. Oh my god. T. Girton, Michigan's to Moo. Okay. Um, let's hit. Password is MXS. Alright, so if this is a Caesar cipher. Decode.fr. Alright, so. M X S L W H U. Um, shift key uh, three. Uh, Jupiter. like <clears throat> SSH agent Jupiter alright we did it you can proceed to Eddie Wolvers okay Eddie Hi, Yasin. I know you like to cover my computer and gather reports, so there's no need. You'll be the only one to have fun with your aptitude tests or and solve mine to have access to them. You are currently on a CS or SE 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 security challenge specialized computer. You will be required to solve encrypted challenge in a limited time to prove your identity. You start to begin. Oh my god, a limited amount of time. Do that. All right, it's locked. 
Hey, I heard you were in the Navy before joining the Moot Complex. That's awesome. I have always been fascinated by the sea. Um, I've never had the opportunity to take off. Instead, I enjoy listening to the adventures. My wife's brother, who's also in the Navy. But I do not regret my life. I enjoy it every day with my wife. But I think I like to think that one day I will bring her to travel around the world by boat. We should have lunch one day. Uh, I'm sorry to say, Freddy, it doesn't look like that's uh, going to happen. I noticed the curious system when you go, it looks, works perfectly, so I took the liberty to copy your format to my own computer. Obviously, I replaced your personal data with mine. Okay, so when we get to Bobby's computer, wherever the hell that is, it'll be the same thing. It's just going to be <clears throat> with his information set, although I don't understand what he needs my information, but I, maybe it'll be apparent when I run the thing. I've heard about your security system, but you are very effective, so if you allow me, I'd like to take a look at what I've done with my own bot system. Perhaps I could take it back to my computer and subject it to a stress test to improve my current system. Okay, so there needs to be some kind of standardization and security here, guys. This is fucking bedlam. Alright, um... I guess let's start, and hopefully we'll be able to figure it out before we run out of time. I don't know what else to say. Oh, shit. Um... Morse code. Um. <clears throat> Unlock the challenge. Content of method. <sighs> nope, that's wrong. Oh, shit. I was not ready for that. That, that went by a lot faster than I thought it would. Um, all right, let's try it again. I copy and paste this? No, shit. Okay. Just got to do it fast, I guess. Um, I don't know Morse code by heart, so... Um... Ah, uh, man, I'm never... I'm going to need to take a screenshot. I'm never going to be able to sit here. <laughs> Sorry. That. I was playing with my daughter. I'm never going to be able to get this in time. All right. I grab, I grab the screenshot just in time. Okay, so now I have all the time in the world to do this. Okay. Um... Um, we have uh, that's the fucking page and the goddamn ads. All right, we have a uh, plus sign. Uh, five dots is the number five. Um, dash dash dot dot dash dash. Um, is uh, mama. Dash dot dot dash is X. Um, then we have dot dot dash 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 dot dot dash 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 two. Uh, then we got a comma again, dash, dash, dot, dot, dash, dash. Then we have dash, dot, 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 dash. Um, oh, that's a minus sign. Uh, and then we have the dot, dot, okay, then we have the dot and three dashes again, which we already know is two. So... Miss a character? Uh, 
Or am I supposed to... Or am I supposed to do... Am I supposed to provide a solution? Like, 5 times 2 is 10 minus 8? No? What the hell? What am I supposed to do? <clears throat> Solve solution. Value 42. Oh, value 42. Okay. Um, so, all right. We're starting out with a value. So then we have 42 plus 5 is 47 uh, times 2. 894 minus 2 is 92. Okay, gotcha. Okay. Oh, the value is 43 now. Okay, so... Oh, um... Right. Um, 43 plus 5. 48. 48 minus 2 is 16. 46 to 94. Okay. Holy shit, I've only got that amount of time. Okay. Uh, uh oh, shit. <clears throat> Okay, now I know what to do, at least. Alright, now we have 32. Maybe I should just get the calculator, because my fucking sick brain is not... 37 times 2, 1, 4, 2, 6, 74, minus 2 is 72, solve 72. Sum of 4, okay. Right. Um, uh, naval flag code. Um, Sierra moving astern. Quebec. Okay, it's spelling something. S Q U. Okay, so square. S Q U A R E M I. And minus square minus S N guessing E seven. Yeah. Square minus seven. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so we gotta solve two problems here to be short of my time, and since I'm all fuzzy all over, now we're ready to go. Alright, 15 plus 5 uh, times 2 minus 2 is 38. Uh, 10 squared Minus seven. There we go. Holy moly. That was close. What is that as close? Complete Eddie's puzzle less than 10 seconds before the end. Oh, well, you know, I even used a calculator and it, I still barely got it, I guess. So. Holy moly. user and password we got Dolan Scanvo two four two C F <coughs> there he is Dolan Scan two four two C F 
All right, it's another one of these mazes. Dolan, I've added a function that can contain several commands to optimize the bot's behavior. Try it out and tell me what you think. Okay. All right. And it said that it can do it can do what now? Um added a function that can contain several commands. Okay, so then how do I see what's in that function though? Uh bot sequence F one. Not sequence, sequence, sequence. Ah, odd. Oh, sequences. Um, no commands yet. Okay. Um, odd push clockwise. Odd push. Move. Damn it. It's typing. Push move. Bot. Push move. Bot push move. Bot push clockwise. Bot push move. Bot push move. Bot push counterclockwise. Bot push move. Push counterclockwise. Bot push move. Move. And uh, that's it. Okay, let's bot play. Alright. Um, and now I can bot help. Um, bot clear. I, I, I mean, or I can start putting commands into F1, I guess. But I don't really see why that's necessary. Bot push move put some two spaces ahead and then one more and then another counterclockwise and then we can move again and move again and move again and that should be it oh oh did clearing the sequence move me back that's probably what it was so that is why we need to have a separate function Okay, uh, bot, clear, main. Now I gotta do all that over again. Bot map. Or bot play. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it resets us back to right where we were when we first started. Okay. So bot, push, uh, clockwise, bot, push, move, move, clockwise, move, move. Counterclockwise, move, counterclockwise, move, and that's where we are, so now we can play. Okay, so now, uh, bots, help. Alright, so it just defaults to main, so now we have to go bot, push, F1, move. Move counterclockwise. Move. Oh, it can only hold three. What the shit? Hot play F1. Didn't do anything. What? What the hell? Bot sequences main. Bot play. Oh, now I need to go bot push F1.
oh, okay. So I need to save. Oh, of course I need to call a function. Okay. Gotcha. Um, but I can't remove just the last entry. No, I'm going to have to clear it and start again. Lame. Hot uh, push clockwise. Hot uh, push move. Move. Clockwise. Move. Move. Counterclockwise. Oh, <clears throat> of course. I can just put the move, move into the function. Save myself for a lot. That's what I need to do. I get it now. <clears throat> but. Yeah, no, we need to get rid of this. We need to start over again. But. Your main. Not held. Not clear. And that's what I did just a moment ago. Main. Not clear F1. All right, bot, push, F1, move, move. <clears throat> All right, now whenever I need to move, I can just do that. Okay, so now, bot, push, clockwise, bot, push, F1, bot, push, clockwise, bot, push, F1, Uh, bot push counterclockwise. Bot push move. God damn it. Bot push counterclockwise. Then bot push F1 twice. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it. Bot push counterclockwise and now we are at, we're at the limit here mm, okay so what happens if I bot clear what happens if I bot push F1 move so instead of moving 4 when I do that I move 6 and what happens if I hit a wall? I'm, I'm assuming it will be fine. So, bot. Now, yeah, so over here. Uh, bot, push clockwise. Bot, push uh, F1. Bot, push clockwise. Bot, push F1. Bot, push counterclockwise. But push move counterclockwise again. But push F1, or it should only need to do it once. Then but push counterclockwise, and then but push F1, and that should get me where I need to go. But play. There we go. Took me way longer than it ought to. <clears throat> Dolan, first of all, let me congratulate you on your great score on the skill test I've developed. I didn't honestly think you would solve it this easily. That means I still have to work on it. I've been working on a new version, slightly more difficult, but given your previous results, it shouldn't be any problem. <coughs> yeah, I intervened a lot of your data as well as optimized your algorithms. You should be more precise in your calculations. She has also generated a complete molecule table. I have joined all the new mall files to this email please add them to the current list if leah asks for your notes or information on your work share it with her it's essential that she access them i'm waiting your update on the door I work on an experiment with nina to create specific components i've enclosed the file containing the list of materials i have to report my findings at the end of the month 
I count on you to have everything ready for your experiment. Let me know when everything is set up. You finally managed to finish that first step. Thanks to this first element, we will be able to extract our chip data which will allow us to complete the formula. But this one won't be enough. You need to continue. I'm counting on you. Okay, now I can do that tar file. Um... We still have Glenn and Fu Hong to do, I guess. Um, if I can get to them. Only sector managers of level 5 can read and edit the documents inside the sector. In order to read a highly secured class of documents necessary to obtain the manager's authorization. Warning, you cannot use an authorization to edit superior level documents. Any unauthorized edit will click, trigger a class. Um, 27 sanction. So, should I not be doing this? Oh, God. All right. Need permission configuration. Um, oh, hold on. How long have I been doing this? Oh, we're coming up on an hour. Um, I might need to do part three, which is fine. Um, but let's... See what we're looking at here first. Read permission configuration. Uh, comp name value Jack Daniel True. Eric Senna false. Eric Jackson far value command. Some systems may prevent more than four users to have rights. These are commented out. So Luke Edison, I don't, I don't know these names, but I, I think refer to Mu Share Local Doc RP Conf Man Tar for more information. Is that is that here? No. Okay. Um, what's the other one then? What's the backup? They're the same. Um, okay. I think I know what we need to do. Um, but we've not used Vi. Oh, we now have Nano on this machine. Okay. I think what we're probably going to need to do is use Nano then to edit the security file. <laughs> Excuse me, to give ourselves permission to do this. Um, but... Um, I, I kind of want to just pause it. Um, I've not actually left this game yet before um, finishing an episode, so I don't know if I leave here, if I'll be exactly where I was, but I am, I'm at an hour, and I do have other things I have to do today, um, and also I am real fuzzy in the brains. So that will be it for part two. We are going to finish episode two. I'll be back with this one uh, relatively shortly. So take care, and we'll see you when we get that far.